You know it's that boy in a building. We making that tearless for SpongeBob characters. Ooh, what's going on with y'all boys? Ooh, what's your favorite YouTuber? Robin It was a video for you guys today. Couldn't think of nothing to do today, so I was like, hmm. What do a lot of YouTubers do? Tier list. So today, we're doing a SpongeBob tier list. We're gonna rate the best SpongeBob characters. <laughs> From greatest to least? You know what I mean. The best from our characters from the greatest to not greatest. Alright, so let's get into it. First things first. Let's start with Mr. Krabs, man. Mr. Krabs is an OG character. You know what I'm saying? That already, that already sets the level for the thing. So he can't be D tier. Mr. Krabs is an OG character. Because I said we got Barnacle Boy and Mermaid Man and Larry the Lobster. Not OG characters. And Pearl, not OG characters. Mr. Krabs was in the first episode, so he, he has to be above D. He's not going to be on D. It's impossible. But is he the best guy? Does he have the best morals? Yeah, he's about his green, but is he is he about the team? I would not say so. We're definitely going to put him on B tier. B tier. He doesn't deserve to be on C, though, because he become a Nick Lutz every once in a while. I remember that one episode where... He did give SpongeBob up for like 50 cents in in, uh, in um, the Flying Dutchman's pocket, but you know what I'm saying? I would I would trade him for the 50 cents too. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, next we got Sandy. Sandy definitely OG character. Sandy cheeks. You know she got the buns on her. You know what I'm saying? So she easily classifies her B. Ah, and she be cool, but she's just not. Ride or die, man. And I want to see, I wanted to always see her with SpongeBob, but either SpongeBob ain't have enough game or Sandy just wasn't with it like that. So, yeah, I mean, she knows karate or whatever, but for some reason, I'm feeling like she's a C, man. She's a C. It just don't make sense why a squirrel's underwater like that. Like, what are you doing there? She's obviously a spy. She's definitely not an actual squirrel. She's trying to see what the fuck's going on down there. On some, on some Edward Snowden type shit. So now let's do Patrick Star. Patrick is goaded. Goaded, 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 goaded. For off the bat, this Patrick was a fucking square character. And he would have been... You know what? I can't judge it. I was going to say he would have been S tier. But in the newer seasons of Spongebob, he changed. I can't base it off the newer seasons of Spongebob because everybody changed. Everybody took an L past season 7 or whatever the fuck that season was. So never mind. I'm not going to judge him based off of that. Patrick is obviously S tier. S tier Pat Star, you know what I'm saying? He be double crossing Spongebob every once in a while. But that's the <laughs> homie, you know what I'm saying? So that's off. Spongebob is obviously S tier. The fucking show is named after this guy. If he's if he's a tier, then there's an issue. Squidward, I don't know, man. Squidward's always been kind of sus to me because, like, look, his nose looks like a dick, though. But Squidward's been an OG character, so we can't give him a D ranking. We can't give him a D ranking. But he's is he better than Sandy? Squidward be having his moments and he'd be teaching us stuff at the end of the day. He's like one of those characters that'd be developing at the end of the series and he'd be teaching us important lessons. But he'd be a dick sometimes to SpongeBob, bro. He'd really be a dick sometimes to SpongeBob, bro. I remember he did that one episode with the Suds. Was it the Suds? The one where he was spraying the Alka Seltzer in him, man? And I remember he was trying to get Patrick and, and SpongeBob to fight. Man, that's fucked up, dog. Squidward just one of them guys. He's definitely going to see with Sandy. Ah, uh, shit, but is Sandy better than... Sandy's better than Squidward, though. Yo, 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 yo. But is Sandy better than Mr. Krabs? Mr. Krabs is way more memorable than Squidward... Or than Sandy. And Squidward's way more memorable than, than Sandy, too. Can't put him on there. Barnacle Boy, yeah, you're a fucking deer, a D tier. You're a low ranking totem pole guy. You're just a beta male, booty ass dude. And you have a fat nose too. That's another L. Oh, man. I would give Sandy, not Sandy, Gary. Gary, come home. I like Gary, man, but I can't give him S tier because he'd be flipping flopping. Do you guys remember that episode of SpongeBob? 
where fucking Gary was choosing between between SpongeBob and Patrick. He was choosing between SpongeBob and Patrick. You know what I'm saying? He betrayed SpongeBob. And he didn't even like Patrick like that. Patrick had a cookie in his pocket. So this 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 guy Gary will double cross you for an, a fucking cookie, bro. Man, that's a L, Gary. Come on, dog. So we can't even give Gary S tier, but damn, Gary's a Gary's a ride or die though. He be in that motherfucking pineapple all damn day. You know what I'm saying? Like whenever SpongeBob, you know, he going through something, Gary's always home. You know what I'm saying? Except for that one time where Gary didn't come home. Oh my gosh, now we have, dang, what's that lady's name? Oh! Claire? Oh shit, what the fuck is the robot's name? Oh my gosh, what's the robot's name? Oh shit, what the fuck is the robot's name? Dude, what is that robot's name? Robot from Spongebob. Wife, Spongebob. Oh my gosh, what the fuck is her name? Karen! How the hell did I know that was Karen? Karen is a real one. Listen, Karen always be coming in clutch for Plankton no matter what mess he gets himself into. The true definition of a ride or die. Karen, Karen never, never switched up on Plankton. And she's not just those one of those Karens that be getting mad at you at the grocery store for not putting the cereal back where it needs to be. She's a Karen, a loving Karen, you know what I'm saying? Listen, by the way that she talks, I know she a throat goat. Gotta put her at... A tier. Karen is definitely A tier. Her attributes just outweigh her, her character role in the show. You know what I'm saying? Definitely above Mr. Krabs. Now we have uh, Mermaid Man. Mermaid Man... Beta male, just big round Krabby Patty looking dude. <sighs> Is he that great? No, oh, he's not that great. And he always be dissing SpongeBob, man. He always be trying to put SpongeBob to the side, and I just hate that. He just disrespect my guy. Yeah, you're going at the bottom, buddy. Yeah. Mrs. Puff. I like Mrs. Puff, man, because she was she with my dog. She with my dog, Mr. Krabs. You know what I'm saying? Remember that episode where she was trying to buy him a whole bunch of stuff. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, what about this? What about this? What about this? And she was like, she's like, yo, Eugene, listen, Eugene, listen. Eugene. I'm old fashioned. Let's just go Dutch, my baby. <laughs> I'm going to take you out. <laughs> I'm going to take you out, my baby. Listen, I love you that much. Mrs. Puff is definitely a ride or die. <laughs> Man, I like Mrs. Pub, but she be doing my dog Spongebob dirty with the exam. Like, she be... I remember this one episode where she tried to pass Spongebob when she should not have passed Spongebob. And that rubbed me the wrong way. Like, like Mrs. Puff, like, listen. Like, I know you want your student to pass, but some people just can't be out in the road like that. You know this nigga Spongebob is going to take some lives. Even to put them sardines in a can, man. So we can't put Mrs. Puff there. We can't put her at A or at S. Can we put her at, at A? <laughs> now, she'd be doing Spongebob dirty sometimes, too. We got to put her at B with Eugene. But, look, we got the couple right here. You know what I'm saying? Power couple. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. Larry the Lobster. Living like Larry. <sighs> Go to the statement. He's already... He's already... Ab Is he above C, though? I don't know, man. And he definitely got... He got definitely got out-muscled by that big... Uh, that big seal, that brown, golden brown seal. Ah, yeah, but that golden brown seal is ugly as shit. He's a crab. I don't know why. I don't know why Mr. Krabs and and Larry the Lobster never had a collab. Like, like they like they were literally like this. They're mollusks. Is that was called a mollusk. She crustaceans, man. They're both bottom feeders. I don't know why they never had a collab or they never met up like that. That should have been an episode. Like, that should have been an episode. And they both have claws and everything. I have no gripes against Larry the Lobster. You know what? The times that I do remember in the older episodes, he was super cool to SpongeBob. I gotta put Larry the Lobster at A. Living like Larry, baby. Oh, I'm going automatically. 
Oh, at least I never had one under the C. Definitely S tier. Pearl, yeah, she she ho when she just thought. I remember she. No, wait, no. Was she a thought though? I remember there was that one episode. Oh, that one episode. She was with SpongeBob and they were going to the dance, and he had them long legs. Did she end up going with that fish? I can't remember. I don't think SpongeBob wasn't her first choice. It was definitely one of them fish with some handsome, handsome sardines. But she didn't know SpongeBob's potential. I can't blame her for that. But I just didn't like her character development. She was just a super duper side character. Like even more, in my opinion, she's even more side than these guys. But she's she's an OG character. We're gonna put her at we're gonna put her at C. Plankton. Ah, oh, listen. I like Plankton for the most part because you just know he's evil. We know what he is. Like, like you know, like a water bottle. A water bottle's never gonna change in, into into a remote control. Like we know a water bottle has water in it. We know it holds water, and we know the purpose of it. We know that Plankton's gonna be evil no matter what. We know his purpose in the show, and honestly, he's the most 100 out of all these guys, bro. Cause SpongeBob movie be changing, Patrick movie be changing. This guy, this guy's okay, 100 all the time. You know what I'm saying? Gary be switching up on him. Karen, ride or die, throat go. Laird the lobster, ah, it's debatable. You know what I'm saying? So he, he does not deserve to be a B tier. I actually give him fucking A tier. A tier. That's it. So, if you liked, if you thought my tier list was accurate, leave a like on the video. If you thought it wasn't accurate, still leave a like on the video. Still leave a like on that video. But let me know, let me know what we should have changed. And let me know what we should have done differently. Do you guys think this tier, tier list is correct? Let me know. But I'll catch you guys later. Just a little quick video for you guys. Rob out.